Okay, so I'm doing some post recording here for Cube with a glitch that's was occurring in this puzzle that I was having problems with, and in typical nature, the Java slowdown seemed to help it. But what the problem was is with the magnets and this rotation, often it would cause a problem where these things would fall off their rotational axes and make the puzzle unsolvable. So the aim was to get them to line up at the same time and light up at the same time. Now ironically I started recording and oh look <laughs> it does exactly what I want. Now I've just got to juggle them till the timing is right and they activated at the same time, not quite there. Like I say, I'm doing this sound post recording. Oh, that was the same time, it seems. So, I'm guessing the door's now open. I can't remember, it was a while ago that I recorded this. So, I figured out they could drop them at the same time while they're both in the light, and then that should work it. And there you go. That should have been at the same time there, hopefully. Obviously, as I'm not playing this right now, I can't tell if it's actually worked or not. Oh, there we go. That was what I needed to rotate that and hold it in place with the magnets. There we go. Now, to replicate the glitch, I'm just going to bugger it about a bit with rotation till it messes it up. And makes them fall off its axis. Uh, it's not quite there yet. Oh, the red one seems to be there if you look at the red one. Which he isn't going to probably. There we go. He be me in the past, because I'm so gross, but look. There we go. And once it's fallen off that, there's no reset button in this room, which is irritating. Which means you have to turn off the game just to get it to reset. And if you piss them about long enough, they will fall off their axis and skew screws. Like that green one in the other lane is starting to fall off its axis a little bit. And so there's the end of the recording. Maybe they'll fix it for a sequel, who knows.